For our last gourmet recipe today, we're going to make dessert. You can make all sorts of desserts in your Fagor pressure cookers. Custards, creme brulee, bread puddings, and yes, even cheesecake. Today we're going to use Fagor's nine-piece dessert kit, which includes a stainless steel rack, four silicon ramekins for individual size desserts, a silicon baking dish with a lid, a spatula, and our dessert kit cookbook, which has many different recipes for you to enjoy. We're actually going to use our individual ramekins. Everybody loves to have their own dessert. We're going to pour equal amounts of our batter into our ramekins. We've already put some butter and a little bit of graham cracker crust on the bottom of our ramekins. I've already pre-made my cheesecake mixture and it contains cream cheese, heavy cream, eggs, sour cream, vanilla, and a little lemon zest. Now that we've filled our ramekins, we're going to want to cover them with a little bit of aluminum foil. Cheesecakes generally take a good 60 minutes in the oven. Even individual cheesecakes can take 45 minutes. But we're going to use our pressure cooker today and we will make these cheesecakes in as little as 30 minutes. Okay, now that we've filled our ramekins, we're going to bring them over to our pressure cooker. I've filled the pressure cooker with two cups of water, so I'm going to stick our stainless steel rack right in there. Now this is Fagor's top-of-the-line pressure cooker, the Fagor Chef. Notice the handle. The handle goes across the lid, base saving so that if you have multiple pots on your cooktop, you don't have to worry about that. What's exclusive to this model is our built-in timer. It's magnetic and removable. The way you set your time is that you push your minute button. This recipe is going to cook for 30 minutes, so I'm going to set our timer now. When I'm ready to cook, I'll have the timer back in our unit, and once our pressure cooker comes to pressure, I will hit the start button. When the time is up, all I have to do is hit the stop button and the timer will stop. What's great is you can take your timer with you if you leave the kitchen, but also it is magnetic, so it will stay in the lid of the pot. With this model, we have two different pressure settings. High, number two, which is the fastest. One, which is a medium setting for cooking delicate foods like fish and vegetables. We also have our automatic release, and then we have our option for removing the valve for cleaning. Also, what is unique about this pressure cooker is our pressure indicator. This pressure indicator works differently than our other models. What happens is when some pressure is in the unit, our indicator will raise one level. Then when medium pressure is reached, our indicator will raise a second level. When full pressure is reached, high, the indicator will raise th to a third level. Another feature of this pressure cooker is a maximum line indicator, which shows your two-thirds capacity of your pressure cooker. Remember, we can never fill our pressure cooker more than two-thirds full because we need the space to create steam. Our Fagor Chef comes accessorized with a trivet, again, our steamer basket, which can also be used as a grater, a glass lid, which is fabulous because you can use this as a regular stock pot as opposed to a pressure cooker, and a very instructional DVD on how to use your chef cooker. So now I'm ready to lock my pressure cooker. Again, we're going to line up our indicator on the lid with our indicator on the handle. Gently slide the cooker closed and it will automatically lock. Next, we want to set our pressure setting, and we're going to be cooking this cheesecake on high. So we're going to be setting it to two. These cheesecakes will take 30 minutes under high pressure. If you were doing a normal-sized cheesecake, it would take 40 minutes. We're going to turn on our heat and wait for our unit to come to pressure. Once our indicator rod is up to full pressure, that would be three lines, and we see some steam coming out of our valve, we'll set our timer on the handle.
Our pressure cooker is at full pressure for our cheesecakes. So now I'm going to set our timer by just pushing the start button. And in 30 minutes, we'll have beautiful individual cheesecakes. Our pressure has come down from our unit. Now what I'm going to do is unlock the lid and pick it up away from myself. We're going to remove our stainless steel basket with our four individual cheesecakes. Our individual cheesecakes that we made are now cooled and garnished with some fresh strawberries. Earlier, we made a full-size cheesecake in our silicon baking pan. Both cheesecakes use the same recipe, we just doubled the ingredients. Mm -hmm.